Well, here we are again for a little bit of drawing together. I'm glad you are with me today. I hope that the weather is fine where you are because where we are right now, it is pouring down buckets of rain. We have that hurricane just southwest of us. So um, might be some flooding in the works here. We'll just have to wait and see. I hope everybody is safe and sound, especially those of you who are caught in that hurricane. I hope you all are on dry land, high and dry. I hope you're doing okay. Uh, all right, so we are here to do some drawing, as always, and I am hoping that you are going to bring along with yourselves a pencil, paper, some marker, maybe a crayon. Uh, maybe you could just get yourself a nice reed out of a nearby pond and dip it in some mud and then draw all over the floor with it, okay? I'm sure nobody would mind, right? Yes, yes, yes. So um, everyone's back to school. It's back to school time, and uh, my kids are doing all their work for science and English and social studies and math. And I want to ask you a question. Have you ever wondered why math books always look so sad? You know, they're just full of problems. And I think with that, we're going to get to some drawing. How about that? All right, make sure you've got your materials ready to go. And I'll say hello to some folks in the chat and see who we have here today joining us. Who do we have here today? Alrighty, Sam, how are you? And Steve, and we have Steven, Steve and Steven, not to be confused with one another. And Megan or Megan, I'm gonna say Megan, I hope I got that right, Megan. Elizabeth Mock, nice to see you, and Stone and Clever, and Michelle, and uh, we also have Jan, hey Jan. Reverb Mike, coolest name out there. What are you gonna do, Reverb Mike? Info, I see you there, and uh, Sally, hello, hello. Lots of folks joining in today. So if you're ready to go, Grab your pencil or your pen or your reed and whatever it is that you're going to draw with and let's get cooking. Now to do these drawings you have to be able to do three simple things. One, a straight line. Okay, I'm sure you guys can do that. You also have to be able to do a zigzag. All right. And a curvilinear line. All right. And that could be a C curve, it could be an S curve, whatever. We'll figure it out as we go. These are simple. We keep them simple so that everybody can enjoy these and have a good time drawing together. Okay. Today's is gonna to be pretty interesting because we're gonna start with a looping shape. Watch this. I'm gonna loop and loop and loop and loop. See that? Kinda of goes in a curve like that, but looping all the way. Loop, 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 loop. That's how we're gonna kick things off. Now I'm gonna start here at the uh, left side of this loop and I'm gonna bring it on down a little bit like that. Come over to the right side and do the same thing for a little symmetry, okay? That's the beginning of our drawing. And now it might surprise you, but I'm actually gonna do some more symmetry. Anybody who's drawn with me a lot in this show knows we do this a lot. We're gonna do a lot of symmetry. One and a two and a three and a four. Okay, they don't have to be totally identical. Don't worry about it. Maybe you decide to put five loops at the bottom. Maybe just three. No worries. It will not matter one bit, okay? Aha, uh -huh. I wonder what we're drawing. Anybody have any guesses? A little too soon to be knowing what this is, isn't it? All right, we're gonna come on down this way. Watch, slight angle. Okay, I'm not gonna come straight down. I'm gonna have a slight angle like that, okay? And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Big surprise, big surprise. More symmetry, okay? Now watch this very shallow V shape. Shallow. One and two. Okay, shallow V. And now I'm gonna do a V shape again, but it's going to be a, a pair of C curves. Watch this. One, two. See that? That's how we're gonna make that work. Okay, hmm, what are we doing here? All right, it's gonna become pretty darn obvious here in a moment. Now watch this. I'm gonna do more loops. Are you ready? Watch how these work. I'm gonna start out about right here, come out and go loop and loop. 
And then other sides, same deal, right? A loop and a loop like that. Not totally symmetrical on my end there. Maybe I should redo that. Sorry, guys. You know, even the best make mistakes, and I am the best. <laughs> yes, that is laughable. Okay, now it's time for us to do some horns. Are you ready? Because yes, this is a, can you guess it? Three letters. Starts with a Y. Come out this way. And then, oh, look at that big C curve. Up we go. Up we go. And then down. And we connect again right there. Now we gotta do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna come out here, right? Curve it on up. Woo! like so, and then out we go this way. Yeah, you know, you do your best to try and make them about the same size. Mine look like a little little bigger on the right side there. By the way, I should, I should show you this. I'm gonna remove these for a moment because I want you to have some fun with this. You can change the horn shape here if you wanna do something like this, you could do this. Because yaks have different shaped horns, different kinds of yaks have different shaped horns. So it's totally up to you. You could do this kind of thing if you want. Right, kind of like an S-curve. That's an option. So many choices. I can't decide. I guess I kind of like the S-curve option. Maybe I'll stick with that. That's kind of fun. Alrighty, moving on. Now, this is the easy part because we're gonna start right here under this ear and watch this. I'm just gonna go like that. See that shallow S? And guess what? I just repeat it again and again. Just kind of make these sort of S-y kind of curves. Do the same thing on this side, kind of just little S-y kind of curves like that. And then you come out here, you do a few more, bloop, 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 like that. See that? We're just making them shaggy, that's what we're doing. Here in the middle, I'm going to do like a few longer wavy ones like this. Okay. And then I'm just going to kind of taper on down this way. Looks so cute. And now for the legs, just a few C curves like that. One and a two, three and a four. And now, here's the easy part at the bottom. Are you ready? Just make it all shaggy. You wanna add a few lines, that's fine. Doesn't matter, you do what you want, okay? But here, we're just gonna go like this, down and down, okay? And then you cap a little bump, watch, bump bump, and then out we go, like that. Same over here, we go down, bump, down, bump, and out. And then you just give a little shallow C curve at the bottom there, and you split it in twain. See that? Pretty neat. Oh. What's that you say? You need back legs? Hey, no problem, look. One, and two, three, and four. Now why am I putting them higher? Why am I making them a little smaller and putting them higher than the others? Because they are backwards in space, we're moving back in space, we're given the illusion of three dimensions in this drawing, okay? And that's how you handle that. All right, I wanna come back up to this yak's face, and this is how simple it is to make the eyes. I come all the way to the left side, and make a little line, Go to the right side and make a little line. Can you believe how easy that is? What are you gonna do with this yak? Well, you know, yaks live in the Himalayas, right? So let me show you a neat trick for making mountains. I'm going to draw a line that just kind of breaks from this point to that point, but see how it kind of breaks a few times? Then I'm gonna come down a little sharper and then break and break and break and break and break. See that? We kind of do these little jagged shapes. I'm going to come over here and go up and down like that. Just kind of changing the angles as I go. All right, now here's the key. Watch this. I come up to the point here. And I'm just going to do a few little zigzaggy kind of lines like that. And then a couple of little dashes. And all of a sudden we have this idea that there's like a face of the mountain here. And then this other side is in shadow, and how do we know? Watch this cool trick. Just draw a few 
the diagonal lines like this. Draw a few diagonal lines like that. Holy cow. Pro tips, gang. Same thing here. Look at this. It is all of a sudden a mountain. How about that? All right. Send your checks in the mail to Kyle T. Webster for that uh, tip that has just changed your lives. Any amount is fine um, as long as it's four figures. Okay, we go this way. Can you believe it? You want to give this this yak some some grass down here? How about that? A few little grassy bits. Okay, and then we'll put some some hills back here in the distance, maybe. Who knows? Happy, happy yak. All right, yak. Hey, did you all know that yaks have three times the lung capacity of the average cow, the typical cow? Why is that? Well, because they have to be able to be active in that crazy high altitude up there in the Himalayas, right? Tibet and whatnot. So they need to be able to uh, breathe that thin air and make it work for their bodies. So, wow. They are powerful animals. Impressive animals. Um, yes. Yes, they are. Now, it is time for the doodle game. Let me hide our yak for just a moment here because I'm going to bring up these two doodles. And what I'd like you to do is just take a look at these. You see them both like this here. Here's number one. Here's number two. And in the chat, you just put the number, so put a one or a two, and then write what you think you see. And I will try and draw that, okay? So you could say number one looks like blah. Two looks like blah. Um, yeah, it could be a person, could be an animal, could be a thing, an object. I don't know. But if you see something there, tell me, and I will try to draw it as quickly as I can. I got two chances here to see something, so um, let me know. We'll start with number one, but we'll move on to number two. And if you see something in one of them out of sequence, uh, if you see number two, something auto, auto right away, having trouble talking today. Uh, maybe I should go back to school. Um, then, you know, you just tell me. If number one isn't speaking to you right now, then let number two be the thing that inspires you. All right, have a little gander at those. Ah, uh, let's see. Two. Looks like a cactus. Ah, I see that. I see that. Number one, a Viking ship. Oh, cool. A Viking ship. Hmm. Number one, an anvil. Uh, you've been watching too many cartoons, Stephen. Um, bottom of a puzzle piece. Number one, a yak carousel. <laughs> oh my gosh. Number two, beak of a crow looking down. Huh. Oh, I see that. I see that. Number two, a ski jump. Number two, a loon on a lake. Number one, an animal on its back. Oh yeah. I think I see that too. I think I see that. Huh. Cool. Um, spy versus spy, says Brad. Oh, I admit, I read many of those, my friend. Um, an algebra problem. Yeah, that's good. I like that. All right, so quickly, let me see here. I'm just going to look at these again, and uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Got to make up my mind. Hmm. Hey, Jan, I see your joke. 24 with Yak Bauer. I like it. I like it. I like your style. Stay yakative. Ha, ha, ha. All right, lots of great suggestions here, gang. Holy cow. I think for number one, I will do, um, I like that animal on its back idea. That's pretty cool. Let's see if I can make that happen for you. All right, here we go. Number one, animal on its back. All right, so we're just gonna go whoop, whoop. What kind of animal is it? I don't know. Maybe it's just a little, like a bear or something. Like that. You just go, I'm on my back. I'm playing around. Playing around. Oh. 
or maybe hibernating. It's just it's a slender bear hibernating. How's that look? Slender bear just hibernating. So we'll just say good night bear. That's cute. Okay, number two, we had the beak of a crow looking down. Yeah, I like that. I like that. We're getting close to Halloween. I might be drawing some crows then. Number two, also a goat. Okay, okay. I see that too. I do see the goat. That could work. Ski jump, a ski jump, ski jump. I'm not seeing the ski jump, but I like I like that. Uh, I'm just not seeing it at the right angle, maybe. A loon on a lake. Spy versus spy, I read that one, yeah. I wish I could draw those guys. I don't know how to draw them. Sorry, I don't know how to draw them. My, my bad. Also, somebody said it looked like a cactus. That was, um, that was Sally. So why don't we do that? So we'll go like this. And like that. And like that. There we go. Put a little one back there. Put some little lines on there. A cactus. There. There's our cactus. And maybe um, got some little hills in the background. Sun setting. And maybe we'll just put a little, little bird right there on that cactus. Well done, guys. Good doodle game. Now. You're not off the hook yet because it is time for the animal and activity game. Now, this is where you please suggest for me an animal doing something crazy, something weird, something funny, something unexpected, and we will draw it in the time that we have remaining, which is only about eight or nine minutes. Not a lot of time for me, so the heat is on. I gotta make this happen. I'll look for your suggestions in the chat. We'll see what you come up with. It's always something cool. It's always something fun. If you wanna see what we did yesterday, there it is. We had a cat in space a space kitty okay so um yeah anything you think of you throw it there in the chat and i will try and do my best i've got my nice light blue color here for sketching might lighten that up just a hair there we go i like the way that looks and we are ready to go we are ready to go okay so going up to let's see cat as a chef well, we did just draw a cat yesterday, Jorge. I like that, but um, I'm gonna hold off. A crow holding a jack-o'-lantern. That's perfect for Halloween. Maybe we'll jump the gun and just draw that. I don't know, I kind of like that. A dolphin doing a backflip, fancy dolphin. Capybara, oh man, I think you suggested a capybara one other time, Steven, and I still don't know what that thing looks like. I mean, I kind of do. It's like a giant river rat, more or less, right? Or a giant... Um, what are those big river animals called? Mus muskrat? Um, ostrich on roller skates. That's fun, Cindy. I really like that. Um, that's pretty fun. All right, that's the one. That's just too funny, so I have to do it. I have to do it. Uh, so why don't we see now, if the, is the ostrich good on the roller skates? That's the question. Um, I think it'd be funny to have it look kind of like unsure of itself, so. Can't remember what ostriches. I know they got massive eyes, right? I'm trying to picture my an ostrich in my head. Their beaks aren't that big. They're pretty small. So eyes open and got those feathers. At the bottom there. I 
gonna do a one leg out this way. Like that, how's that look? Okay, let me shrink that down a little. It's getting a little big, there we go. Maybe the other arm needs to come forward a bit like this. That and come up this way with that neck. And have the tail out there. Actually, let's do that little Tintin Hergé trick with the loopy line. That works for me. Okay. Let's try it. Let's give it a go. We're going to knock down that opacity just a hair there so I can draw over it with a darker color. And uh, wish me luck, here we go. So we're gonna come down and up. And there's that mouth. One wing out this way. Come that way around and uh, put those other feathers in there. And this one up and out. Like that. So far, so good. Okay. Get that tail spread out there in the back. Lace those up. Try and get these wheels to look about right. What do you think? How are we doing here? We're getting there, folks. Almost there. And then this leg. By the way, notice how, um, whoops. I changed my uh, my sketch, or I, rather I changed the, the final drawing a bit from the sketch, and that's because, like I always say, you know, the, the sketch is there for guidance, um, but it's not this thing that you have to be totally married to uh, for the final, right? You are, you are free to... Um, deviate, not be a deviant, but to deviate from that sketch, okay? Because it's there to help you lay stuff in and, and see where it needs to be, right? But but if you got to move something for the final to uh, just to make it sing, then hey, why would you not make that change, right? Holy cow, there you go. Look at that, that's fun. 
I had a good time with that one. Thanks a lot, gang. Let's bring our yak back. It rhymes. Uh, here we go. Oopsie. There we go. Hello, yak. Alrighty. Good day that was. We had some, some fun there. We had some good stuff to draw. Hope you all enjoyed that. And I'll see you again uh, next week, Wednesday and Thursday, same time. Everybody, please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Remember, as always, to be kind. And I will see you. Have a good weekend. Until then, take care, everybody.